Hi everyone, Rainy Bastarash here and today I had a reality check that I'd like to speak to you about. This video is going to be titled, Think Before You Talk. I had something that happened and uh, I guess the reason for this video is to let people know that you have two ears, you have one mouth, you should listen twice as much as you talk. You know, sometimes you open your mouth and insert foot. Well, I've had a couple situations like that that are very memorable. One yesterday, one a little while ago. I'm going to talk about that one for us. Actually, a little while ago, I've used, I've spoken about this a few times in the past. It was years ago when I used to be an insurance agent. I owned my own insurance agency. This must have been a good 35 years ago. And I was so anxious to make my sale. I walked into this guy's house that was on my list. I hadn't seen him for years. He was an old, old friend. I walked in. His name was Gene. And I walked in and I said, hey, Gene, how you doing? And I was thinking so much about my policy that I wasn't really listening to what he said. So it's like, hey, Gene, how you doing? He goes, my mother died. I said, that's great. Let me tell you about this policy. I think you'll be really excited about it. And he goes, did you hear me? My mother died. Oh, geez, I'm sorry. I felt so bad, you know. And for a long time, I started thinking, okay, I need to pause, listen to somebody when you say, how are you? You know, how many times have you done that? Well, I did pretty good with it for quite a while. And then, okay, one of my friends, actually one of my next door neighbors, his car was in the yard. He works every day, so his, his actually his truck. His truck usually is in the yard. Monday through Friday, it's always gone until five o'clock. So his truck's been in the yard now for about five days. Now I know he has like five weeks vacation a year, so I figured, you know, I had a joke. I wanted to call him, tell a joke anyway. So I uh, was gonna call him, tell him a joke, joke with him for a bit. So anyways, I call up and he answers, hello? I said, hey, Brian, how you doing? I says, I noticed your car has been in the driveway now for about a week, so I thought I'd call to see if you died or something. I says, I didn't smell anything coming out of your apartment. He goes, no, I'm in intensive care. I go, oh, funny. He goes, no, I'm serious. I'm in intensive care. I have pneumonia. I almost died. Gosh, I did it again. <laughs> okay, Luckily, he's a good enough friend. I mean, I, I was thinking of saying, uh, so if you die, can I have your truck? You know, <laughs> but, I mean, he's a good enough friend. But I started thinking about that. And uh, it's been bugging me all morning. You need to think before you talk. How many of you do that? Especially with clients on the phone. Okay, a client calls you up and sometimes you can talk yourself right out of a sale because you give too much information before you find out what they want. Or when I say a sale, I mean, you know, obviously a, a session. And this is with any kind of salesman because as a practitioner, no matter what you're doing, if you're self-employed, you're a marketer number one and you're a practitioner number two. So listen more. Ask questions. When someone calls you, you know, you answer with your, with your name, whatever the name is of your company, and, you know, how can I help you? Let them talk and ask them questions before you roll off with your spiel about how great you are and what you do and why they should take you and how you're the best thing since buttered bread. Speak to them. Ask them questions. Knowledge, information is power. The more you know, the more you can help, the more you can answer. And sometimes by talking too much about what you do, you might be talking about something that they don't like or something that you know the competition said to them and that's why they're calling you. So, I guess I had a reality check, I learned my lesson, so if any of you call me, I'm going to be asking you a bunch of questions about why you're calling first. <laughs> Thanks for listening, don't forget to subscribe, and have a great day.